All right, who do we have here? Is everybody excited? I know everybody has just eaten and they were probably snoozing, so I appreciate that you came. And um, so I've put something on your chair. So before I get started with today's presentation, which is something else actually that I actually was supposed to talk about. So let me give you a little bit of backstory. Uh, I wrote this book, as Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. Um, it was kind of handed to me. I was really just not really in the crypto space. I got into it somehow, and um, the Investing for Dummies guy asked me to write this book, and I started writing it right after I gave birth to my daughter, which is a different story. And so I went on Crypto Crow's YouTube channel, which is probably the reason why you guys are here. So let's give it an applause for Crypto Crow for having his YouTube channel. I'm trying to pump you up, guys, a little bit. So I went on there. He, we sent him a copy of this. I liked it. And then when he was creating this event, he was like, Kiana, do you want to come speak? And do you want to do a book signing uh, on our booth over there? And I'm like, sure. And then so I've been doing a book signing for the past six months all over America, really, going all, over, all around. And every time we've got to ship the book, and then we don't know how much to order. And then we either run out or we have more books than we ordered. So I was like, like literally two weeks ago, like, ah, oh, I really don't want to do this again. It's so heavy. Then I have to have somebody to come follow me around. And especially when you do it in, in the events, the problem with that is that it takes away from the speaker. So you came here to listen to people speak. And then if I'm doing a book signing in the back, it's just it takes away from the actual event. And I didn't want to rob your time on that. So what I did is that I did completely switch everything around. And if you look on your seats right now, I went around and I put something on your seats. So I wanted to um, really make it, make, make it, because I'm not even going to talk about cryptocurrency today. I'm going to talk about something much bigger than that. But I want you to have access to my book. So what I did, and you realize that I actually ran out of even cards. So you, you understand, I ran out of cards like halfway through here. Imagine if I had brought books. So um, if, you go to, to, if you look at the card over there, you see that the link is learn.investiva.com forward slash guest. But you can also go to forward slash chainwise. This is actually the real link that I forgot to even put it on my power course because I'm out of it today. But so you go to learn, that's L E R L E A R N dot investiva, I N V E S T D I V A dot com forward slash chainwise. And what you're going to get is my audiobook. This audiobook right here, the audiobook of this for free. So this is obviously only for chainwise people today. Uh, so you're going to download that. You're going to listen to this tomorrow or whatever. It's going to go down. This is only for, you, for the guests today. Uh, but what you're going to do, you're going to listen to it tomorrow. Today, I'm going to talk about something else. Are you guys excited? Welcome to the Monarch Wallet, a truly decentralized cryptocurrency wallet that supports over 3,000 cryptocurrencies. And for merchants, it includes Monarch Pay. Buy and sell from your bank or credit card. Earn up to 8.2% interest and soon get loans. A built-in decentralized ERC-20 exchange. Portfolio tracker, market cap, and news. Users own their keys and seed. Biometric security. Go download the Monarch Wallet today. All right, cool. So what my real passion is, I started Investiva seven years ago. Uh, it's literally, why, why are we really here? Why are you really here? You're here because you want to find an avenue to make your money work for you. So cryptocurrency is one avenue to make your money work for you. What does that mean? That means that you invest it somewhere, either it grows or either it makes more money for you without taking much of your time because time is what we really, really have, right? So what I'm going to teach you today is how to make your money work for you, whether it's in crypto, whether it's in investing, whether it's whatever it is that you want to do. And our goal today, by the end of this presentation, is so that you get an understanding on how you can become that woman or that guy laying on your couch while your kids are playing, playing you're reading, can do whatever you want, and your money is on the background working for you. How many guys would want that for you and for your family and for your kids? Yes, okay, we got high fives over here. All right, awesome. So the three secrets to that is how you can do this without being a math whiz. How many guys here are math whizzes? 
You're a math whiz. All right, we got a couple of math whizzes for you here. Okay, that's awesome. I'm not a math whiz, and I'm going to show you how to do this without being a math whiz. I'm going to show you how to start with only a small initial investment. How do you guys have millions of dollars to invest? Nobody. I'm going to show you how to start investing small. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do this without being stuck to your screen all day. How many guys have a ton of time to screen to your screen all day? You don't, right? I'm going to show you how to do that exact thing. And I'm going to be fast because we have no. So once you go to learn.investable.com forward slash chainwise, turn off your phones because that is, yeah. So turn off your phones after you download the audio. And we're going to get do that right now. All right, so a little bit about me. Many of you probably don't know me. Uh, you're going to say, OK, who the heck is this girl up here wearing red? The only speaker, by the way, apparently today, uh, who's a woman. Uh, so who the heck is Kiana Danielle? Why should I listen to her? So this is me. That's my daughter, Jasmine. She's one and a half. Uh, I'm actually an adjunct professor at universities in New York and in Japan. I am the founder of the Invest Diva movement. I uh, am a contributor, actually. I'm an uh, analyst for companies like NASDAQ and Love 365. And you probably not recognize me, but I, you probably have seen me on media like Fox, CNN, Time, uh, Forbes magazine. Here are some screenshots. If you go check it out, I am there. Probably uh, you didn't recognize who the heck I was. I've written this many books. The last one is Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. You're going to go uh, get your audiobook for free on learn.investable.com forward slash chainwise. And I've also written all those other books. I've won, won awards for being, what was that one? It was Personal Investment Expert of 2018. I also won an award this year. The reason why I'm telling this, people have said good things about me. Forbes has said Kiana has helped thousands of women to grow their wealth by investing in online markets. This is one of my very first students, single mom, Melissa, who came to me seven years ago. She had no financial education background. I said, Kiana, I want to become independent. What do I do? So I showed her exactly these three things I'm going to uh, share with you today. And she's rocking it today, you guys. There's another of my students, uh, Misty. Uh, she has Lyme disease. She got an inheritance from her parents invested it all in one stock, lost it all within two weeks. And she came to me, she's like, Kiana, I don't have any money. What do I do? So she's now in the process. So now you want to be asking, Kiana, OK, how did you even get into this stuff? This stuff? Where did you come from? So I was born and raised, actually, in Iran, to a Jewish family. My dad was a very successful CEO. But after the revolution in Iran, he lost everything to the new Iranian regime. And I grew up, actually, in poverty which is actually one of the reasons why I'm into crypto now, because if he had even a fraction of his assets in crypto, the Iranian government would not be able to take over his assets, and I would not have grown up in poverty. That's for a different story. That's not what we're going to talk about today. But I ended up studying electrical engineering in Japan. So we're like, OK, Kiana, you just said you're not a math whiz. How did you study electrical engineering in Japan? Well, my parents told me, Kiana, you're either going to become a doctor or an engineer. Which one are you going to choose? I said, OK, I pass out every time I get see blood, so I'm probably going to become an engineer. <laughs> I became an engineer, and uh, I sucked at it. I was the only girl in the class for six years, just like I am today among all the <laughs> speakers, because <laughs> Wendy over, uh, didn't show up. Uh, but that has been like my life. I've always been in very male-dominated fields. And then, I started working at a company that I hated. How many of you guys hate your job? OK. <laughs> so yeah, jobs are not fun, especially when you're in car corporate. So then came the year 2008. Uh, how many of you guys remember what happened in 2008? I fell in love with a guy in Shiro. Yeah, I, I fell in love with a guy in Shiro. <laughs> <laughs> it's written their job. No, no, no. On a global scale, what happened? What happened? The market crashed like crazy, right? Everything was dropping. Now, at this time, I was a student studying engineering, had no clue what a cra market crash is, had no clue what a recession is. I didn't know that word. I literally did not, not know that word. In, no language in either Japanese or English or whatever. And I was like, OK, that's OK, whatever. And, but what I did understand was, that, OK, I'm in Japan. I have Japanese yen. And I was hearing that the US dollar is getting cheaper and cheaper. And I'm like, OK, that's cool. So if I have Japanese yen, maybe now that the US dollar is cheap, I can buy some US dollar for a cheaper price. That makes sense, right? I'm like, I'm going to go to the US at some point, right? I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy some US dollar. So I just bought a tiny bit of US dollar. 
And then um, I went down back to the ATM. You can do that on the on ATMs in Japan. And the next day, it was even cheaper. I'm like, oh, I should have waited. So I exchanged it a little bit more. Next week, it was even cheaper. I'm like, oh, I should have waited. I exchanged it a little more. And then I knew that it's just going down. Like, I could hear the news already, right, the market crashing, da 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 da. Like, okay, but I don't have time to go to the ATM every day. I think it's going to go down, probably it's going to go down to this level. Uh, how can I automate this? Maybe I can like write a code, you know, engineer. Like, maybe I can write a code and like tell the bank to buy US dollar when it gets to this price. And I, I literally had no idea you can actually do this. So I was talking to someone and it's like, yeah, you can actually do this. It's called, you, you basically what you gotta do is <laughs> you gotta go online, you gotta go to an exchange or an online broker, give, your, the, give them your money and they're gonna set an amount, you're gonna exchange your US dollar, your Japanese and US dollar at the amount that you want. I'm like, what, online broker? What, a, what the heck is that? So anyway, so she hooked me up. And she also did something else on the background that I was not aware of. I mean, she was like, do you want to do this? I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. So I didn't really understand what she did, but she put me on leverage, which I do not recommend anybody does. And she uh, set my account. I put $10,000 in that account. We set to sell Japanese yen. Uh, I think it was at 96, so dollar yen 96. And within a month, I made $10,000 while everybody was losing money, right? Lehman Brothers was going down. I made $10,000, like what, how did that happen? Like, can you guys imagine what I'm feeling? I'm like, what, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what this is. I just made $10,000, I don't know what, 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 how, what, right? So that's how I felt. And I obviously couldn't imagine what happened. And at this point, of course, many of you guys, because you've been listening to all the speakers in the past few days, or yesterday and today, you know that I probably took way too much risk. And I probably just got lucky. And the fact is, I did. I did take too much risk unknowingly. And I did get lucky. I timed the market unknowingly well, right? But what I'm going to show you today is that how now, 10 years later, I actually make money intentionally and consistently without taking more risk that I can afford. So these are just a snapshots uh, of some of my uh, accounts, right? So with Interactive Brokers that have a $100,000 account, I made L Rand, so this is average, 12K per month. Some months is much higher, some months is much lower. With Robinhood, this is actually growing, I'm putting more on Robinhood. I make about 3K Coinbase and Binance. So again, depending on the time, this is average over the past three years, the amount that I've been making. But this is intentional and consistently. And I actually, so this is me right after I gave birth to Jasmine. And this is actually a week before I started writing Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. But I even made $12,000 per month while I was on maternity leave. How many guys can think that you're on maternity leave, you just gave birth, you're puffy like crazy and look like a giant, and your money is working for you. How cool is that? How badly would you want that for yourself? It's pretty cool, right? So, and I did that by the way, you know, while, you know how when you get pregnant, how many, okay, we have some, oh my God, I'm so happy we have some women here. Your memory, I don't remember anything from back time. Like, when I was pregnant, I was like, whoa, da, 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 da. like my brain, your brain is dead. Like women, we, we have, it's crazy. So here's my disclaimer. You're not going to make $12,673 per month by listening to this presentation. I guarantee you that. All right. So uh, go, going back to, okay, how did I even get started? Going from being just lucky and making money out of pure luck to making money intentionally and consistently. And of course, at the beginning, I'm wearing the same dress. I didn't even realize that. That's not even me. That's a stock photo off the internet. So first, of course, I was afraid. <laughs> I was petrified. So and um, I, I didn't know what I'm going to do. But I knew what investing can do for you. So I did what every logical person could do, will do, right? I'm like, OK, investing is cool. I don't know a thing about it. I'm going to have my money to the pro, <laughs> right? I'm going to go to the money manager. He knows what he's talking about. I'm going to lock my money up. I'm going to give them my money. And the guy, bam, I mean, out of nowhere, he popped out. I was like, yes, give me your money. Give me your money. I'm going to do it for you. And of course, I didn't understand anything. So he had me sign these agreements. I'm like, sure, sure, sure. So I was like all excited, right? And um, so before I knew it, the guy took a ton, of, actually all of my savings. Um, and um, he started charging me a ton of hidden commission fees. 
And uh, what Elsa was really bad was that my money actually got locked up in that money manager's account. And later on, so I, I was pretty excited about investing, as you can uh, imagine. And I actually ended up going from Japan to the heart of global finance, which is... Welcome to the Monarch Wallet, a truly decentralized cryptocurrency wallet that supports over 3,000 cryptocurrencies. And for merchants, it includes Monarch Pay. Buy and sell from your bank or credit card. Earn up to 8.2% interest and soon get loans. A built-in decentralized ERC-20 exchange. Portfolio tracker, market cap, and news. Users own their keys and seed. Biometric security. Go download the Monarch Wallet today. Wall Street, yes. I work at three different companies in Wall Street, including the New York Stock Exchange itself. I actually work in the New York Stock Exchange. And there I learned a lot about all the shady things going on. Uh, on, on Wall Street, as well as all the shady things that goes on with managed funds. I found out that mutual funds underperformed the market average by 86%. How crazy is that market average, right? I'm not even talking about the people who are doing the best. Any, over any 10-year period, 96% of mutual funds will not even match the market. You know why that is super sad? It's because you're like, okay, I got a life, I got family, I got kids, I got a job, I don't have time for this, I'm gonna give my money to somebody to do it for me. And they're not, only four of them will match the market and you don't even know which one. It's pretty crazy, right? So I was like, okay, that, that's just stupid. So by this time, because I had educated myself on Wall Street and I knew all what was going on, so I decided to get my money out, pay all the penalties, which was a lot, for taking my money out early, and go solo. So I went solo. So that's how Investigo was born. And now I'm gonna show you the easy way how my portfolio makes this much. So like, this is the other day, I just woke up, I uh, took a snapshot of my phone, I made like $1,000 that day. How many guys would love to wake up in the morning and say, ah, oh, my account just made me $1,000. It's pretty cool, right? Oh, yes, yeah, we have a hand there, yes! Okay, you got a hand over there. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly that. So what are, what are the three secrets? The secret number one is that, okay, Keanu, this is so cool, I, I get that a lot. They're like, okay, Keanu, you're an engineer, you can do this. Uh, I wanna do this, but this, my brain is like, ah, I can't do math. So I'm gonna show you why being a math was actually doesn't help with investing. And a lot of people think that you gotta be a math, like understand math mathematics, well, it could help, but it really is not necessary. I'm gonna show you actually how math whizzes actually perform even worse than people who are not math whizzes. Is that a word, math whizzes? Is that the floor? So secret number two is how to start with only a small initial investment and how I start with only $500. And secret number three is the one hour per week part-time job you can do while your kids nap. How many guys have kids? Woo, okay. Uh, and if your kids don't nap, uh, well, later at night, uh, or instead of watching Netflix, right? So we're gonna get with uh, secret number one. So I'm gonna give you a real life story, all right? So this guy is my husband, his name is Matt, and he's an actual rocket scientist, all right? So he built the world's fastest, not built, he designed the world's fastest helicopters, of course, it's X2, he works at this massive corporation, and he's just super smart, he's won, won a bunch of awards, and uh, he's super smart, and he brags about it too, right? And you know what's funny? And he would kill me. He, I, I talk, I give this speech all the time. I'm very happy he's not in, this, he, in the room because he will, like, he'll hate it when I do this. But, um, ah, go to the next slide. Oh, he made my, my mouse disappear. <laughs> it's not going to the next slide. Did he do it? Is he watching? Uh, <laughs> by 30, my net worth. <laughs> was bigger than Matt's. And uh, that is so weird that this is not working. So I'm gonna tell you why. So, there, so by 30, um, he's super smart, right? But he was not investing, he was not, he was not budgeting. He was putting all his money in different, he was buying video games and this and that. And the money that he was investing, he was, so what happens when you're super smart? Um, you, you become kind of, yeah, you're like, oh, I know everything, I'm the best, I know everything. He literally goes around as I'm the best, right? And because you're very smart, and because the markets are actually not mathematical, 
you take your losses and your wins very personally. Because you're like, hey, like, I'm a rocket scientist. I'm the star, star, smarter per, smartest person I know. How? This doesn't make sense that I made, lost money. So what you do is that when you make money, you get super excited. This is, a, this is an actual cartoon of him. So he really did not like this when I made that. But it's true. When he made money, he's like, oh, you see, I knew it. Didn't, didn't I tell I invested in the right thing? I invested in the right thing. But when he lost money, he was like, oh, like he would get super emotional. And you know what happens when you're super emotional about your investments? You make emotional investment decisions. How many of you guys have heard a story of a guy who was actually very smart and was trying to do the right thing for his family, got into trading or investing or whatever it is, and ended up losing all the money? I know a ton of those people. And it's not because the person was not smart, it's just because they were getting very emotional. And you know, it's for your family. it is the money that's for your family, so you get emotional about it. It's very, it's true, but so what you have to realize is that the markets are actually not about math. The markets, any market, cryptocurrency market, stock market, real estate market, businesses, it's all about stories. Everything is all about psychology and stories. So how many of you guys can follow stories? <laughs> Everybody, right? We're conditioned from the day we were born to look at stories. But if you only apply all these stories, the stories, the following the stories to the markets, that is how you are going to start making money. So that is why now that, that is again Matt, uh, he's a senior ex executive at this company, and over half of his income uh, comes from an investment account that I manage uh, doing zero math, <laughs> okay, and while taking care of my daughter. So um, I'm not going to show you. Uh, I probably can show you this ad. This is an E-Trade ad. This I'm living this that money. young life, 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 life. Top speed, 59 slide, slide. And I'm not going to show you. <laughs> it's a champagne and models for free. school just got a boat, right? <laughs> you guys, this doesn't have to be. So that the ad goes on to say, don't get mad, get invested. So, which is true. Like, I was like, okay, that's a smart because it's super true, right? It doesn't need to be hard. So let me tell you how I got, I made a bunch of money in Netflix. So Netflix, how many guys know Netflix? All right. So um, back in, when was that? That is 2000, I don't even remember the, uh, the year. But, so I was watching Friends on Netflix, because I'm a Friends geek. Uh, so anyway, so I was like, okay, Netflix is kind of cool, right? Um, how many of you guys know Friends? Did I just say something nobody knows of? One? What? You guys should go and watch Friends on Netflix. Anyway, so uh, anyway, I was watching Netflix, <laughs> and I'm like, this is really cool. And I was like, okay, I got Netflix. My family's got Netflix, all my friends got Netflix. It seems like this company is doing is on to something. Let me go while I'm watching, right? Let me go on my app, let me buy a bunch of shares. And at a time, Netflix stocks was only $14, you guys. And so what happened next is that so this happened, these are these are kind of lucky as well though, but I got a thousand shares of Netflix when it was $14 over 18 short months. And a few hundred eighty two hundred thousand dollars of my math, pure profit, not even including commission fees that are uh, paid to the broker, in just over eighteen short months, needing no math, no math. I just looked around and was like, okay, this makes sense. Let me go buy Netflix shares. Another one, Chipotle. How many guys know Chipotle? Is Chipotle a big thing in Ohio? All right, so I love Chipotle. And um, so what happened with Chipotle in 2017? You guys remember when they uh, kind of went out and gave people diseases through their viruses? That was in, So a bunch of Chipotle um, stores got shut down. And of course, their stock prices just went crazy down. Everybody on, on the media was like, oh my god, Chipotle is drawing. So everybody was panic selling. And I was like, ah. So again, so I went back. Uh, I studied marketing before. I was like, OK. 
So from a marketing standpoint, a company as big as Chipotle is probably going to take this publicity. There is no such thing as bad publicity. Everybody's talking about Chipotle. Now everybody's panicking and selling right now, but they're probably going to use this and turn things around. And guess what happened? Chipotle shares are a little bit more expensive. So I only bought 37 shares of Chipotle at 270 when it bottomed out. Over just over one year, I'm at $30,000, $30,200 pure profit at Chipotle. And what's crazy is that these are actually not even on my top 12 must have list. So these were just like random, right? But it's just because I was looking at the market, so I'm like, oh, cool. Let me take advantage of this story. All right, does this make sense? So now you guys are gonna think, okay, what if there's a recession? Haha, <laughs> he's gonna get mad at me <laughs> for talking about a recession. So what if there is a recession? So of course, there's going to be a recession probably. I mean, not probably, it's, it is going to be. We know, we don't know when, but it is going to be a recession. How do you take advantage of a recession? Well, I made money on a recession. I didn't know what I was doing. But now, we're gonna go back and look at the big picture. What happened is that, and I think uh, somebody was talking about this before uh, on the stage as well. If you look at the big picture, 2008, the markets were at all-time high at the time before it crashed, right? So it crashed all the way down to 2019, in 2009. So the people who panic sell, sold, they obviously lost money. The people who hold, after only three years, they would have been back up to where it was before. 2018, they would have tripled tripled, this is the Dow Jones guys, tripled what they had in their accounts. So that is how we deal with recessions, we don't panic. We do not get emotional. That is the only thing you need to know about investing. Do not get emotional. And by the way, real estate market, a lot of guys like right, real estate, stock market rebounded like that, real estate actually hasn't um, recovered as much. So that's that for uh, real estate. When the markets are down, is the best time to buy. Because guess what, you guys, the women here know we love shopping at sales. Who buys, would you, why would you go and buy bikinis at the beginning of summer when everything is a prime price? You'd rather wait until the end when everything is half price. Why won't you do that? That is the best time to buy, right? Same goes with ski gear, right? I do, I always do that. You never, I know it's tempting to go and buy at the beginning of the season because you're like, oh, you're just thinking about it, but just with a little bit of planning ahead. If you go and buy at the end of the season, you're gonna get everything half price. That is, what, that is what your mentality should be. So this gets us to secret number two. I wanna invest, this is so cool, but I don't have money. So I'm gonna show you how I start with only $500. So, uh, okay, this is the guy's jobs drop down. I, do I even have time? Oh my God, okay, I, gotta, uh, I, gotta, I gotta go past. All right, so I started inv uh, investing, after I got fired, I got fired, by the way, from my job. Um, Corporate finance. <laughs> it's probably because I suck at math. But um, anyway, so uh, I started with $500. I inve invested, reinvested, and I grew it to $53,152, apparently, dollars. I wanted to be accurate over there over three years. I'm going to show you how I did that. My risk tolerance was moderate. And this time, actually, I didn't even have a family support because my parents were like, okay, you suck. Uh, why don't you go get a real job? And I wasn't married, so I didn't have that luxury. <laughs> but uh, this is how it happened. And this is not rocket science. This is called time value of money, all right? So time value of money, basically, it's, it's called compound interest. It's called whatever that they call it. But the matter of the fact is that you cannot wait until you have a lot of money to invest. Even if you buy, I don't know, if you're, if you're, if you're into Bitcoin, if you're into stocks, if you're into anything, if you start small, you can grow, because you can invest and reinvest, and you can contribute. You don't have to wait and like, okay, I wanna have, I wanna start with 10,000. 10, I wanna start with the, that is not gonna work. You need to start now, right? Your mentality should go from, okay, I'm gonna buy an Apple Watch, to I'm gonna buy an Apple stock. It should go from, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I don't know, whatever it is, I, if I'm, I'm gonna buy like whatever it is, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna become a shareholder of that company. And BitBoy was say, saying before that he went and sold his Bitcoin to buy a software company, and he was saying regrettably if he had just held on, but he didn't look at it as an asset at the time, right? And a lot of people didn't, but that is how your mentality should switch today, because that way you're gonna become an owner you got to go from becoming, being a consumer to being an owner. And when you're an owner, that is when you actually have real power.
power. So rule number one, a percentage of your income every month, no matter how small it is, it's like tax. Automatically, you gotta automate it, because otherwise you're gonna get emotional about it, you're gonna miss that money. If you don't see that money, you're not gonna miss it. You automatically tell your bank, hey bank, put $20 every day to my broker every, every month, or 200, or 500, 1,000, whatever it is of unnecessary expense that you can afford to put on in your, in your broker account. And so, okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. How many guys can uh, set aside $500 per, per month? How many of you guys can set aside 100? $25, everybody can, right? Think of all the things that you, you know, Starbucks coffee I probably shouldn't have, but yeah, I actually got this for free. Um, but um, the things, all the habits that you have that you're just unconscious, subconscious, unconsciously. Uh, by the way, English is not my first language, if you haven't noticed yet. If I make mistakes, forgive me. Um, but you, you can do that, right? You set that aside and you, um, you, you can grow. And rule number two, this is very important. This is super important. No matter how much money you have, no matter how smart you are, rule number two, patience is a profitable virtue. Because look at this chart. I don't know how, you got, how many of you guys are familiar with charts. You probably are. Uh, but this is what every investment strategy, the one on the left, we want our investments to be like this. We want to enter at the bottom, and we want the market to just go up, 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 and we want to make money within five days. That is the ideal situation, right? But more often than not, this is not how it's going to pan out. What's gonna happen is that you're gonna put your money in, it's gonna go up, if you're stuck at your screen all day, you're like, oh my God, awesome! And then it's gonna go down, and you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? It's gonna go back, it's gonna go, oh my God! And it's gonna go back, oh my God! Right, so you're gonna get more and more and more and more emotional about it at a lot of times, more often than, and I've been working with so many people in the past years, you guys, and even though I teach them these things, like they're like, oh, Kiana, so I, I have stocks of this in this company and it's not doing very well. Should I sell? I'm like, no, didn't I like just teach you for like five years? Like you gotta be patient. Not five years, like two weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you Crow Trader. No longer do you have to be a power trader to make profits in the market. Crow Trader is easy to use, powerful, and customizable an algorithmic cryptocurrency trading bot that sounds difficult, but makes automated trading a breeze. Six powerful trading strategies, including Bollinger Bands, EMA Sniper, Ichimoku Cloud, Ping Pong, and others, with more to come. Complete back testing for every market pair so you can see the effectiveness of a strategy using historical price data. Customize your strategies to operate the way you want them to and let Crow Trader trade the market while you're sleeping. Save and share your customized settings or load settings of other users from within the community. You are never alone. Tweak your settings until content for best earning potential and then turn on paper trading to find out how effective your strategy is in real time without risking any capital in your experiments. Run Crow Trader on your favorite exchanges such as Coinbase Pro or Binance with new exchanges coming soon. With Crow Trader, you are never alone as our growing community aims to help one another find success in the market. Once content, turn on live trading for your market pairs and let Crow Trader get to work improving your position using base pairs such as Bitcoin, US Dollar, or Ethereum. Get Crow Trader now at crowtrader.com and start trading today. After five years, you become patient. <laughs> After two, five years, you'll learn to become patient. But if you wait, that's where you gotta exit. Time, you gotta give it time, you gotta be patient. And the best way to do it is actually not to look at your account as often. All right, so patience. Oh, I didn't even have it there. Patience is a profitable virtue. Okay, repeat after me, because it's super important. Patience is a profitable virtue. Awesome, all right, you guys, thank you so much. So now I'm gonna show you the simple portfolio that has made me almost 2,000 per month by putting my money to work and how it helped us buy our house. 
Uh, that's me and my husband. So I'm going to uh, pick out one month in my portfolio, and I'm going to show you why I have picked the, this month out in a little bit. But December 4th, 2016, so that, that, that is the time that the markets were not actually doing crazy. And this is a stock market. This is not crypto. If it was crypto, it would have been a lot better story. But this is just a stock market before the real rally began, right? December 4th, so I was taking screenshots of my, of my portfolio. I have a bunch of stuff. Some of them are in green. Some of them are actually in the negative, as you can see. Uh, so that day, my net liquidity, the one with the circle around it, is $54,000, 54K, right? That day, I made $2,000. Then I had some down days. December 6th, I'm up to $58,000. December 13th, I'm up to $59,000. And of course, the market were going back and, back and up. But why I chose this uh, month is that December 4th is also the time that, um, the day that uh, my husband and I, oh, this is the microphone. Have you guys been hearing me all right? Um, we went to Bora Bora. So how many guys have been to Bora Bora? You guys, you gotta go to Bora Bora. It is the most beautiful place on earth, and pictures don't do justice. Anyway, so I, we were in Bora Bora, and I, I was just, you know, chilling, swimming with the sharks, whatever it is, throwing kisses off the ocean. Uh, I don't know. So we were doing this, and I was not looking at my portfolio. That is why I wanted to show you this slide. It's because I, I was chilling. I was on vacation, and my money was working for me. December 20th, we came back. My account was up to $60,000. That day, I made $1,000. And as you can see, again, if you look through this, if you look at the portfolio, some of my stocks are actually negative. Some of them are doing well. Those are the ones that are keeping my account moving up forward. Then came the Christmas break, right? So we went, so our Christmas uh, tradition with my family is that we go to the ski slopes. I'm a double diamond black, a double black diamond skier, by the way. That is one fun fact about me. Uh, can go skiing sometimes. So we went to Vermont, we were skiing, we were having fun, uh, going to the jacuzzi at night, awesome times. I came back right after New Year's, January 4th, bam. I went, so December 4th, we started at $54,380. By January 4th, my account is up $67,050, 50-something, I guess. So that's why it's $12,673 in one month while I was traveling. This is Christmas time, you guys. How many guys spend like crazy during, during Christmas? It's coming up, right? Everybody, and I'm not even Christian. So, but everybody does, right? But how would you like it to, instead of being, instead of spending like crazy over Christmas, your money is making your money grow during Christmas? You would love that, right? So um, then we decided to grow our uh, family. I gotta be, uh, oh, this is what happened. So this is the reason why I had this here. So. Um, what happened is that I normally don't take the money out of my investment account, but at this time, my husband and I was like, okay, things are going well, let's grow our family. And in order to grow our family, we needed a house. And because our families both live in a different country, my husband is Australian, uh, we were like, okay, we want a house. So first, like, okay, this is the amount that we're gonna put in the house. But then we were like, okay, but well, our family is gonna come and visit us, right? And we don't want our in-laws to be in our faces all the time. How do you guys want your in-laws to be in your room all the time? You don't want that, right? Uh, so we're like, okay, we've got to go get a bigger house with a guest house. So we needed a bigger budget. Uh, so I was like, okay, what are we going to do? I looked at my investment accounts and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that. I looked at the bunch of them. I was like, this one, the one that I started with $500, that started growing to up to 53 and moving on. I was like, this is the one that I'm gonna take some money out and we're gonna put it towards our down payment. And we finally found the house. If you, this is the day that we moved in. If you look closely, you can see my belly is showing my pregnancy a little bit. So uh, that is what happened. If I had that money locked up in a money manager's account, if I wanted to get that money out, I would have had to pay a ton of penalty. But this, it was for me. And I was managing it and it was growing like, you know, the way that it should be. So this takes us to secret number three. So now you're like, okay, Kiana, so you probably had a ton of time, but I don't have time. I have a job, I have kids, I, I'm doing a ton of things. I don't wanna be, you know, investing all the time and like looking at the markets and stories and this and that. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. One hour per week, it's a part-time job really for me. They can do while your kids nap. If your kids don't nap, 
You can do it while they're at school, or you can put them to bed a little bit earlier, and you can do this. And um, that way you can also get, you get to nap even during the day as well. Uh, that's what I love to do. So uh, the reason why I bring this up is because, and I talked about this at the beginning of the, uh, of the master class too, what is the most important thing that we all have? Time. Time is the most important asset that anybody has. So I'm gonna actually, this is a trick question that I ask people. So how many guys would love for me to write you a $100,000 check right now and give it to you? Okay, if you guys are not putting your hands up, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna question you. <laughs> Everybody, all right? So what if I tell you, okay, I'm gonna write you a $100,000 check, but you gotta end your life right after that. Nobody would want that $100,000 check right now, right? Why? Because we all know that we already value time more than money, but we just sometimes forget about it, right? So time is super important. I do not want you to be stuck doing things like just going out for things so that you lose the precious time they can spend with their family. This is my mom and dad teaching my daughter how to, uh, how to walk. So we live uh, close by the beach. In the summer, I try to go to the beach every day because, you know, these are precious time that I don't want don't to miss out on. And um, so this is Missy that I actually mentioned before. So she's the one that she came to me and said, uh, Kiana, uh, I wanted to share your story and she, say how this worked for her, right? So um, she's like, yeah, I, I got inheritance from my mom. She passed away and I lost all of it. I, I, I listened to some guru and he told me to put all of my money in this asset and I did and that company got delisted. So I have no money now. What do I do? And I have Lyme disease. My, um, uh, I have to pay out of pocket because my insurance company doesn't cover cover it. And I was just, this is like, this really, it always, it just, uh, it, it, it really, it, it makes me, I don't want to cry because I don't want, anyway, so it's crazy, okay? And I was like, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you, and I'm going to show you the process, right? So I got her in, and uh, I showed her the process, the same exact three steps, right? The patience, she has so much problems with patience, and that's the main reason why she actually put everything into one account one asset at the time. And I took her and I told her, hey, Missy, like, you gotta come in, but you gotta set up some time. You gotta set up some time at the beginning to get this right. Because I told you how at the beginning I just made money out of pure luck, but then I'm gonna show you how I lost a ton of money too, just because I, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna set up some time, you're gonna take a few weekends off, you're gonna learn how to do this, and then you're gonna put it on auto. And I, I, ah, I didn't want to <laughs> spoil this, but this is what happened. She came in, she set it up, and um, uh, yeah, she did, she did pay off her medical, uh, medical um, expenses she went on. Uh, our Facebook group, she said, I found a can in 2017, and soon I've made lots and lots of mistakes a long way, mostly from impatience, and we're very grateful that I've been able to use my hashtag Diva when that's what we do every time that uh, people make money. Make money. And uh, they have put the pro proceeds into, um, into to paying off her medical expenses. So how cool is that, you guys? Isn't that amazing that you can go from being completely broke and losing everything and like, okay, this sucks, to actually being able to recover. So this is what this is all about. And that's the reason why I really have been trying to pay this forward. This is Tiffany. Uh, so she says, working with Investiva has helped me control my finances. Instead of always being a consumer, I'm now an investor. She actually uh, bought a condo. So she actually had a job, but she was not able to buy a condo. She wanted to buy an apartment for herself. And uh, after working with, with the process for a while, uh, she was able to actually buy that condo. So these heartwarming stories, is the, I want to show you that you can do this. Right? That once you do the process, when you actually get this, you can then sit back, relax, and let your money work for you. And it's going to also give you independence. Uh, this is my dad again. I, I, I told you how he lost everything at, uh, at the revolution in Iran. And, uh, but he, he's got pride. Like, he's like, I, I don't want to be d dependent on my uh, kids. Um, and every time they came to the US, it just is heartbroken because it's like, oh, I don't have the money. We can't cover this. So. Um, but he didn't want to ask for help because he's got pride. He's a dad. He's a granddaddy, right? So what I did is like, okay, enough is enough. I sat down with my big sister. I was like, I'm going to do this for him. So we invested in a bunch of stuff that pays dividend. 
and now my mom and dad can come, you know, off those dividend payments and cover their expenses when they're here and keeping their heads up. And they can spend time with us because, you know, my daughter, I want her to be able to spend time with my dad. And it's just, it's just super rewarding because we can basically buy back time. This is Ivan. He got into the process. Uh, he went on the Facebook group. He's, uh, he's actually a salesperson. That's his uh, wife and two kids. And he got into the uh, process like, uh, I make commission, I make my money based on commission fees, but it's not stable, so I want to have something so I can provide for my family. So what happened, he came in, he made his first few dollars in dividend payments, and uh, he wrote in hashtag Diva win on our Facebook group, it was pretty cool. Uh, this is Darlene, she was actually day trading. Ah. How many guys are day traders here? Ah! We got day traders. All right, so day trading. I used to be a day trader. I'm not anymore. I apply. I don't know how you guys do it. It's just, oh. Anyway, so she lost all her money day trading. And she's like, okay, Kiana, what am I going to do? And um, she wanted to give up, right? Um, and she came. I put her through this process, and she started investing. And uh, she got her investment account by $10,000 in nine months which is pretty nice after coming from a crush. So now the question for you guys, and I am running out of time here. Uh, I forgot my question. <laughs> yeah, my question is that, you guys, how many of you guys think that you can do this? Everybody, right? It's not rocket science. And how many of you guys came here, I mean, to this awesome conference thinking that you want to learn something and take away so that you can provide for your families so that you can get more time, so that your money can work for you, so that you become your money's boss. Everybody, right? That is what you wanted to take away. And we have some awesome, awesome speakers over here. And uh, the question is, can you do this? You already said yes. And you're probably wondering, okay, what are the steps? What are the steps that I have to take? And um, so I'm gonna hear, so I, would, I would obviously love to teach everything that I have right now. I have like literally five minutes to go off. Um, but um, what I have done is that I actually have put everything into a process, right? And the process is uh, it's called the Make Your Money Work For You Power Course, where I put Missy in, I put my dad on, I, I put uh, Tiffany and Michael and everybody else on. And uh, what happens is that you get in the process, you make your first dollar, you put in hashtag Devo win in the Facebook group, and you get a t-shirt, Investiva t-shirt. So you officially become an Investiva. If you're a girl, you become an Investiva if you're a guy. And uh, then you get, we take you through making the 1K Diva, you become a 10K Diva, 50K Diva, and then you graduate after 100K. But uh, I just wanted to end here today, right now, that I first wanted to thank Crypto Crow for putting together this amazing, in Ohio, <laughs> right? And I really just wanted you guys to believe in yourselves and be patient and understand that you really, it's not like a rocket science that you have to just be crazy. It's just, it just takes a little bit of education, a little bit of patience, and a little bit of luck. But you got this. You're going to be able to do it. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs>